Hey guys, so this is my latest BGS return, and we're gonna go over the grades for the first time together. I did not look at the grades for this submission. This submission actually took quite a while from when BGS shipped it back to me, because FedEx did a terrible job. They actually had my package for like over a week for whatever reason, and it was delayed in delivering to me until pretty much very recently, a couple of days ago actually, but they had it for over a week when it was pretty much in my city already so terrible job by FedEx but uh, we'll go over the grades and see what we ended up getting I got four cards graded so let's see what's going on I do know I had a couple of Chinese cards as well so let's see what we got so for Beckett you can tell the grades a little bit just by the label this is a silver label which means it's probably like a I think a nine is the top that it can get them because of this label um, you can see the back, look at the condition, and then we'll go to the front. Okay, so this is a Chinese Blastoise. It's got the 9. So this looks like it's a very strong 9. 9.5 and 3 9 subs. This is the unlimited Chinese version, which is actually rarer than the first edition. A lot of people think first edition is always the rarest of the variants. But for Chinese in particular, the unlimited cards are much more rare. With the exception of the theme deck Pokemon. <laughs> So like Gyarados, Mewtwo, Mew, and I believe Ninetales. But other than that, Unlimited's actually the rarer variant. So that's the one you want to chase. And this looks beautiful, actually. I love Chinese cards as well. And it has the English back as well. And um, Pokemon's actually re like printing cards now in mainland China. So it might be getting up there in like popularity, like the language, just because more and more are getting printed. And there'll be more exposure for, like, Chinese cards going forward, I feel like. So this is probably the Gyarados then. I had a Gyarados as well. What is up with this case? Look at how, like, this case is, like, very dirty or, like, I don't know what's going on. Like, this this Blastoise like that? No, this case looks fine. But, like, look at this Gyarados case. It's, like, really dirty and, like, smudgy. Like, can I wipe this? No, I don't think I can wipe this off. This looks like it's, like, scuffing on the case. Very ter- and It also looks like it's- Is this chipped? It looks like it's, like, cracked inside. Not on the outside. It's smooth here. It looks like it's internal damage. Like, the case? I don't know. But, uh, it looks like I got a 9 too. but this case is just terrible. The front looks fine, though, the case. It's just the back looked really smudgy and, like- Dirty or damaged. I don't know what to call it. The front looks fine. This one is a 9 with 3 9 subs and 8 5. Also the unlimited version. Yeah, this is like very poor quality control for their cases. Look at that. Hmm. I wonder if these are like that too. No, this one looks fine. It's just that one for some reason. Interesting. Here's the back of this one. This one looks really clean in the back. A little off-center, but looks really nice. Oh, this is the Stage Error Blastoise. Got the 9. A strong 9, looks like, because it's got a 9.5 for the centering. Beautiful looking card. This case looks okay as well. Um, and Beckett did not note Stage Error, because you can tell because it, it doesn't have the word Stage here. It says put Blastoise on the blank one card. It should say stage, and they didn't note it on the label, which they should have, because that's something they that they normally would designate. So it's kind of weird that they didn't put it when I had it on my submission. So not really that happy in terms of, like, just quality control with this order. Them not putting stage, and then that case is, like, really messed up. So this one, you can see the label is a little different, and you can kind of tell why. There's like a little bit more edge wear on this one, so I can see why this is a lower grade. This label typically is reserved for anything lower than an 8.5, which is like the paper label. But I know what card this is. This is the Shadowless Charizard. Looks like it's a very strong 8, though. It got an 8, 8, 8, 5, and a 9. Definitely off-centered a little bit, you can see. Beautiful card, though. Shadowless. Second printing of the base set. Absolutely gorgeous. This case also looks messed up, though. It's like the Gyarados. 
I don't know if you can tell, but it's like it's very dirty and smudgy this one too, like the other one. So like two out of the four cases this looks so bad. Yeah, you can tell in the back too when I shine it around. So yeah, so this is my BGS submission. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. You can also follow me on Instagram at zards underscore r underscore us. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.